Let's take a look at what we have happening on the bench today. Here we have a cam uh, camcorder that I use. Uh, I've been using for some overhead shots, and it works uh, really well. It can zoom in uh, tremendously and maintain focus. But when I have it mounted uh, several feet above the bench, I'm unable to activate the uh, you know the remote zoom because I use the HDMI out from this camera and when I do that I can't use the Wi-Fi connection to operate the zoom or anything and it unfortunately does not use the standard uh, Canon infrared remote that I have uh, that I can use with other uh, cameras that I have so I need to make something to uh, take care of that for me and so I can remotely uh, zoom in and out I'm going to use a servo motor and an Arduino. Uh, the Pro Mini, of course, because that's generally what I use. They work pretty well. And they're cheap, cheap, cheap. So let's take a closer look. So here we have the servo. That's going to be mounted on the side of the uh, camera here. Uh, this was a little case that I printed up for the controls, and uh, that didn't work out. So we did another one. This will be mounted right here on the side. As the servo uh, moves, it will zoom in uh, and out quite a little bit. Now the way this works is this lever um, needs to be centered in order to not be zooming. So the neutral on this needs to be set so that it, I can adjust it to where it won't be moving that zoom just a little bit. It's very sensitive, very sensitive little uh, lever here. So for that, we have uh, set of pots for setting the center and the zoom speed along with the buttons for zooming in and out. Let's take a closer look at that circuit. So here we have the circuit. Um, there's a center pot. So when the uh, zoom, when I don't want it to zoom anywhere, this will be the resting position of it. Then adjust the slow speed, the slow zoom in or out speed, and the fast zoom in out speed. This will all run on 5 volts. However, uh, the Arduino Pro Mini is 3.3 volts. Not to worry, the uh, servo can handle a 3.3 volt input on its PWM pin, and it uh, doesn't have to be a 5 volt uh, PWM signal, just 3.3 volt will work. And then we have four buttons for slow zoom in, slow zoom out, fast zoom in, fast zoom out, and what else? the PWM out, and that's about it. The Pro Mini uh, has its own uh, voltage regulator on it, so we're powering it with 5 volts in on the raw pin. And I'll try to uh, provide a little diagram uh, schematic of that and the source code. Source code's really simple. I won't bother to even go into it. There's a, a library called, I think it's Servo for an Arduino, and you just convert the num do some basic number conversions. There are plenty of examples out there. And for those not familiar with uh, PWM signals, we have one uh, right here. These little peaks. Uh, these are, this is a kind of at its resting state, so with the uh, center setting, I can turn that pot and you can see that change. Oh, and of course we can also see the uh, little, uh, this is the resting state, so this is when it's centered. That way, uh, this thing will not uh, just by default be zooming in unless I'm pressing a button. And when I do press a button, that'll zoom out a little bit, zoom in a little slowly, zoom in fast, zoom out fast. And again, those are adjusted with these little pots here. That's it. It's pretty simple. Um, the way pulse width modulation works, this, this uh, little input signal is read by circuitry in here and then there's a little potentiometer inside of this that senses the, the servo position and it creates a little feedback loop so that that pot is set uh, to match uh, whatever the the pulse width is coming in. Now one of the things I found about this was that it will get all jammed up sometimes and now you see we've lost the signal and the servo kind of goes crazy if I press the buttons a couple of times. Well that's because the power supply is set to one amp and 
if I fix that and I set it to 2 amps, this now works just fine. And that's because these little servos, as small as they are, can draw quite a little bit of power. Right now this circuit's drawing like 12 milliamps, but it will draw tiny bursts of an amp or better, and that will then cause a brownout on the Arduino and cause it to reset and restart and all of that. So make sure you're getting, you've got plenty of power going in to your servo. Otherwise, you're going to get all sorts of just weird effects. So what did we end up with? Well, this. A little 3D printed, uh, poorly 3D printed case uh, with four buttons, a centering pot, and the two speed pots right here. A simple uh, reusing a power supply that's been hanging out uh, in a drawer for a while. The nice thing is this is um, like two amps and it already had a convenient 2.5 mil uh, barrel connector. I wanted this to work without having to um, make any real changes to the camera in case I want to pass that on to someone else later. So, non-destructive mount. The arm here is a very sophisticated manufacturer uh, using a cut-off paper clip. Yes, that's all that is, is a cut-off paper clip and some uh, wire crimps. And this block is here just to make it so that it's the uh, about the same height. And, of course, allows me to glue the block down using some adhesive strips without actually, again, materially uh, changing the camera itself. The whole wiring mess is uh, designed to be plugged in so I can swap out the uh, servo, debug the servo uh, anytime I need to. And always make sure you mark your black connector though, your power gr and ground. And then uh, it just plugs in there. This is just some heat shrink for the wiring. Nice long heavy cable so that I don't um, have any problems. This is all going to be mounted up in the ceiling and down on the bench. All I need is my little remote. So what we have now is a completed device that we can zoom in at high speed or slow speed. Zoom out slowly. Zoom out fast. Here's our center. Slow and fast settings. That's it. I'm hoping to put this to use um, with a set of reviews of some things like uh, some meters and uh, non and voltage detectors. So volt alert and uh, non-contact voltage detectors are next. So now just to get this little uh, guy mounted back up on the ceiling and put it to use.